Hey, Emily, so I think I figured out um, what's going on with your uh, program here. So let me just um, create a new log analyzer. And if we um, inspect this guy and go to the log file reader and look at the take a look at the iterator here, see how it says the cursor is at zero. Um, last return minus one, and that's the as high as it it expects to go. Um, so right now the cursor is pointing at the first um, entry in the list. Um, so then, if we run like let's say, oh you know what, and let's just check take a look to it like. Um, our, so right now, our accounts has nothing in it, right? So if we run, say, analyze hourly data, and then inspect. Okay, so we load that loaded up the hourly counts. So your reader did work that time. But now if we take a look at the reader, so this is our iterator, this reader, right? Take a look at the iterator piece and see the cursor's all the way at the end. So now what happens is, now this is when, when whenever you say has next, it's gonna say no, there's nothing left because we're at the end. So if I now try to do, like okay, well let's inspect first. So if we look at like day counts, there's nothing in there. If I try to run um, analyze daily data, um, nothing happened because um, we're at the end, the, the iterator's pointing to the end of the, or the log reader's pointing to the end of the, um, of the um, collection there. So, um, and actually in the book, I, I think it was really cool that you, you, you did these other um, methods, the, um, you know, analyze daily data and all that stuff. Um, let me just, um, so, but what, I think what we need to do is, if, I know we didn't, it, the book doesn't really talk about log file reader at all, but I just want to show you real quick what's going on in here. So, um, this log reader, um, implements iterator, okay, so this is, so, and, and you, you're using the reader as your iterator, in the log analyzer. And so what happens is there's this um, method called um, reset. And what that does is that um, resets the data iterator back to the beginning, basically, of the list. So if we, I gotta compile now. Um, so if we go in here and um, before you do your um, your while loop, if you just say reader reset, I think it was public, wasn't it? Yeah. So if you just um, call reader reset in front of all of these guys, so wherever you're gonna um, use the reader in a loop. Just stick in this. I don't know. I think that's all the places. But you'll have to look carefully and make sure that you get all the places where you have that has next. So basically, you just search through for has next. Okay, we have yeah, we have the reset. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it looks like looks like we got it. So let's compile that. And now see if it works. Okay, so now let's say uh, well let's inspect. So our hour counts are all zeros. 
Our day counts are all zeros. Minute counts. Okay, so all these guys are zero filled as they should be at this point. And our reader is pointing at the beginning of the file. Okay. And let's do hourly data. Let's see if that loaded up properly. Yep, we got our hours. So now let's see if we can do the daily. Oh! I got an out of bounds exception here. Looks like. Out of bounds exception 31. So we have a limit of, looks like we went past our limit of number of days. So if log entry, okay, well, that's, that's another thing to look at. So let me, let's, let's close this up for now. And then um, in the next video, we'll take a look at what's going on with, uh, with that error.